Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. Thank you very much for joining me again. You probably already watched maybe one or two of my videos where I was testing Shadow Cloud Gaming Service on various devices like my phone, inside the car, uh, Chromebook, possibly done on the Nvidia Shield TV. Anyway, Shadow Cloud Gaming Service allows you to play PC games with their ultra settings. <coughs> Excuse me. So max settings. So pretty much every game will work on a shadow. But when you're using a deck station where you have a keyboard and a mouse, not all the games will be perfect to be played on this kind of setup. As a shadow, everything will work perfectly. But when you use shadow on a deck station, that might be a bit different. So what I will do in this video, I will try to stream and see how it performs when I'm trying to play StarCraft 2. So let's, st okay, I just noticed my deck station is updating. So hopefully that won't affect, oh, my deck station is sending some Android apps updating. <coughs> so hopefully that won't cause an effect. I have Ethernet cable connected to my deck station. I'm not using a Wi-Fi in this video, I'm using Ethernet connection. So if I hover the mouse, this is indicates that I have a Ethernet connection. Anyway, let's start my shadow app. Excuse me, and let's let's connect to my shadow cloud gaming service. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna start StarCraft 2 and see how it performs. Like I said, all the games that I have on my shadow cloud gaming um, computer, they work amazing. I mean, I try to play them on PC, I try to play them on a different device. The all streaming quality is between very good average to perfect. It all depends on a broadband speed. But not all the games will accept what Android allows. Basically, not all the game supports keyboard and not all the game supports proper mouse inputs. Like probably you saw one of my videos where I was testing um, Doom Free and uh, action games and etc. But anyway, this game is basically based on a strategy game and you need to use a keyboard and a mouse to play this game. So let's see how it goes. Instead of me just trying to go by a campaign or something, I'm just gonna go um, a training session and I'm gonna go I'm gonna play as a and let's let's do as a Zerg and let's press play <clears throat> so right now what I'll do is just basically gonna try to play uh, this game um, and see how the keyboard and the mouse performs so so far settings and going for menus using a mouse everything works fine but i don't know if it's gonna change when i'm gonna start trying to play so let's see so press any key to continue so here we are so i am right now playing okay right uh, okay Okay, to be honest, I heard some. What, I used to play StarCraft One, the first one, years ago, and now I am a bit um, can't remember. Let's do. Let's build Overlord. So quality, stream quality is fine. Uh, the camera movements go. Uh, yes, go up. Ooh, when you're moving with the mouse, the camera goes up. The the top menu thing appears for shadow. If you go right, yeah, if you go down, okay, but the down thing appears. So um, be careful, do not click any of these. So you just quickly move around. And let me actually go to the middle of the map. So let's, let's quickly check. Yeah, so everything works fine. So camera movement is okay. Camera movement is okay. So where are you? Are you right? Okay, so this is Overlord. Uh, let's build more. S couple of times I noticed the the quality of the streaming just sort of pixels just goes as an overlay for for like milliseconds. So that's not the big deal. Mm, again, I am connected my deck station to Ethernet. Uh, I'm getting about 25 to 30 megabits download speed, which is according to a shadow, it, sh it should be more than enough but you're basically not always that's the true so right now a spawn pool so i need to i need to basically uh build build more of these 
actually let's grab no you go back there you go here so i need to build a spawn pool okay spawn pool okay so far is good i'm not gonna go all the way till the end of this i mean i'm not gonna go for all this gameplay uh mutate and extractor so i'm, I'm just basically i'm just gonna okay okay what's this why is the sign here more for the overlord okay uh okay so um <clears throat> as, as a first quick look at this um everything looks fine i mean quality streaming quality is great inputs are working i mean you can you can use a oh crap i just pressed escape that's not good so okay uh this one d so short keys working so f2 let's say what else i can see z is for so let's go let's go b what else again b e okay escape okay so keyboard inputs working fine as well all right i need to build the gas probably chamber here we are so select these d d d d d so get some uh let's build some drones uh pretty much yeah if you are a starcraft 2 fan and you sign up for shadow cloud gaming service by the way if you want to get 10 pounds off from a cloud shadow cloud service use the coupon in the b uh, description below it will help me but it will help you saving tenner so you're going to have to pay a full full price in the first month so you get a uh, temperate uh, 10 pounds off and you can try it. so uh, okay this is increase the movement speed of zero glings okay uh can i actually build what's this so s d d d so let's get more drones you go here b e as you I can you see i'm using a keyboard just to basically quick select obviously by playing this constantly uh, you basically you will learn all the quick quick buttons and you're gonna enjoy this game even more but as a nutshell everything is working perfectly streaming quality is okay i'm not complaining about it the inputs from a keyboard and a mouse works fine obviously a bit of this messing on because there's a chance that i might click by accident the x button here or minimize or click something on this start menu and then suddenly i lost the game so be careful obviously you still can use the arrow keys to move around but uh, it's not bad it's not bad so more zero links yes let's get some let's get some army going here okay apparently i need to build another overlord just in case and here comes my army wheel mouse not working to zoom in and out might be like i don't know something is weird uh let's get more zerglings come on so le let's actually go investigate so basically i'm gonna right now try go and lose but using a keyboard and a mouse as a as a tech so come on come on come on come on i upgraded my zerglings to move faster but they actually trying to catch up and so far nothing happening and i'm trying to catch their player one let's see if i can increase a mouse movement just a bit okay enable mouse sensitivity let's do 70 cursor size this is do not affecting to be honest anything because uh, uh i can see a generic android mouse so right now uh, it's actually not bad not bad so come on attack i'm actually walking too much away from my base let's go back uh z z z z, z. let's build more zerglings let's try to uh to 
quickly create an army and then go for it. I'm probably gonna do this video about 12, maybe 13 minutes length. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I appreciate. Uh, what's F2? Select army unit. F2. All right, okay, this is all of them. Uh, F2. This is all of them. So this is my army. Uh, let's get more. Let's build more. Okay. You go in there. You go in there. You go in there. Let's get more of these drones to actually get some gas running. Come on, come on. I need more. I need more. So that's my army. So let's go and try to win. Uh, or try to lose, to be honest. So I know they are here somewhere. So let's go for it. Okay. So keyboard and a mouse inputs. I'm not using anything else. It's just a keyboard and a mouse. And I'm streaming. Uh, <laughs> totally forgot what the game I'm playing. I'm streaming the um, StarCraft 2 using a cloud gaming service by name Shadow. So, and like I said, if you want to try this out, you're more than welcome. You can sign up. You, you need to wait between five to ten days of activation time, which is a, sometimes it is a bit of pain, but believe me, it's worth it because you will get the most powerful, um, the most powerful cloud computer ever. And if you want to get a bit discounted price, please use the coupon code in the description below, which will give you ten pounds off or whatever that is equivalent into dollars. Okay, so I'm basically gonna lose now. Okay, they they have even better better uh, battle units, and I'm about to lose. Okay, will I actually lose or win? Actually, I need to. I think this is called pylons. And they are basically allowing... Come on, come on, come on. My units are... Numbers of my units are very quickly depleting. Uh, destroy this one. Player 2 wants to surrender. Let's destroy this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Can't be bored playing anymore. So, StarCraft 2 running on my deck station using Shadow Cloud Gaming Service. Basically, um, not bad at all, not bad at all. Actually, I can rewind the game. This is amazing. Okay, I didn't know that actually that exists. That's brilliant. So rewind the game. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the... Can I increase the speed? Yes. So pretty much this is this is how I play the game. And anyway, uh, what I was saying is StarCraft 2 running on my Shadow Cloud Gaming service, which is being streamed to my deck station with the keyboard and mouse input. Everything was fine. No complaints. Okay, I do not expect to use this setup. I buy either of you to become a number one. I mean, like using in a in a competitions and tournaments, etc. But when you have a couple of spare minutes and you have a deck station set up, you want to enjoy a bit of strategy game from one of the best strategy games ever, 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 ever. Oh my God, I can't even speak. Yes, this is a good setup. And like I mentioned, if you want to get ten pounds off, use the code in the description below to get ten pounds off of your first month. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And that's why I won the battle. Thank you. Goodbye.